students i'm rahul palke meet my friend vaibho today i am going to speak about uh, vijayanagar kingdom or uh, vijayanagar empire its span was from 1336 to 1565 vijayanagar kingdom and the city were founded by harihara and bukka sons of a sangam who were tributaries of kaktiyas and later became minister in the court of kampili vijayanagar kingdom lay in the deccan to the south of the bahamani kingdom vijayanagar period can be divided into four distinct dynasties sangam saluva tuluva and arvidu now think about the sangam dynasty its span was from 1336 to 1485 harihara first and bukka first they laid the foundation of vijayanagar vijayanagar bahamani conflict began with the foundation of kingdoms clash of interest in three areas raisur doab between krishna and tungabhadra krishna godavari delta and marathwada book of first his plan was from 1356 to 79 book of first strengthened the city of vidyanagar and renamed it vijayanagar he restored harmony between the warring vaishnavas and the jains the rise of malwar silon and other countries kept ambassadors at his court harihara second book of first was succeeded by his son harihara second devraya first he was the third son of harihara second his greatest achievement was his irrigation works where a dam was built across the tungabhadra with canals leading to the city nicolo di conti visited vijayanagar during his reign next came devraya second he was the grandson of devraya first ahmad shah first of bahamani invaded vijayanagar and exacted a war in denti devraya second began the practice of employing muslim cavalrymen and archers in the army on large scale their induction had begun during devraya first he was called proud devraya sri lanka paid a regular tribute to him he had learning for veera shaivism at he respected other religions dindi was the court poet where Sinath was given the title of Kavi Sarabhaum. Abdur Rajak, the envoy of Shaharuk, visited Vijayanagar during his reign. Now, learn about the Salwa dynasty. Salwa dynasty, in it, two kings, Salwa Narsimha and Tirumal Vaskudgama, landed in Calicut during the reign of Vijayanagar. Tirumal and Imadi Narsimha both were minors uh, during the reignancy of uh, Naras Nayak now the next one the Tuluva dynasty Veer Narsimha and Krishna Devarai are the kings in Tuluva dynasty Krishna Devarai Saluva Timma the chief minister of uh, Veer Narsimha placed the krishna devarai the brother of vir narsimha on the throne krishna devarai was brave he maintained friendly relations with albuquerque the portuguese governor whose ambassador prior louis resided in vijayanagar he won orissa for vijayanagar and vijayanagar emerged the strongest during his reign he built the vijay mahal the hazara ram temple and the vithal swami temple he took the titles of yavan raj sthapana acharya restorer of the yavan kingdom that is bida kingdom and abhinav bhoj he is also known as andra bhoj and andra pitama he was a gifted scholar in both telugu and sanskrit of which only two works are extant the telugu work on polity amukta malyada and the sanskrit drama jambavanti kalyanam his court was adorned by the astadigajas for example Tenali Ramakrishna Panduranga Mahamya
Krishna Dev Rai, a contemporary of Baba, was the most illustrious ruler of the Dekka. Duarte Barbosa and Domingo Pes of Portugal's travelers visited Vijayanagar during the time of Krishna Dev Rai. Then came Achyuta Dev Rai. He nominated his brother Achyuta Dev Rai. Krishna Dev Rai nominated him. Then Venkat first. Now came the Aravidu dynasty. Tirumal Rai, the brother of Ramraya, ruled in the name of Sadashiv Rai. On his favor to repopulate Vijayanagar, he shifted the capital to Penugonda. He divided his empire into three practically linguistic sections. The empire slowly shrunk and the Aravidu dynasty ended in 1646. Now consider about administration. Nayankar system was the special feature of provincial administration of Vijayanagar Empire. Ayangar system was the special feature of a village administration. A body of 12 functionaries known as Ayangars conducted village affairs. They were granted tax-free lands. Tax-free lands society. It was the only empire in medieval India where women went to battles. Also, it was the state that promoted widow remarriage. Status of a women improved during Vijayanagar Empire. Architecture. The Vijayanagar rulers produced a new style of architecture called as Dravid style or Provida style. Another important feature were mandap or open pavilion with a raised platform made for sitting deities and Amman shrine. Important temples, Vithal Swami, Hajara Temple, Hajara Ram Temple, then Tadapatri, then Chudambaram. See, these are the famous ones. Vijayanagar rulers started the practice of inscribing the stories of the Ramayana and the Mahabharata on the walls of various temples. Vithal Swami and Hajara Ram Temple are examples of this type of wall inscription. Thank you very much.